guys welcome to another video of circuit digest in this video i will show you how you can use the h206 sensor with arduino to measure speed distance and angle of a robot so here we have the robot and the joystick which we can use to control the robot and at the back side you can see two dc motors just a second to these two yellow things are the dc motors and you can see the h206 sensors mounted to it so my chasis has the option to mount the sensors properly as you can see the grid wheel and the sensor is mounted properly in such a way that the grid wheel passes exactly in between the ir sensor so how to mount this and all those details is given at the link given at the description of this video in this video i'll only show you how the project actually works so now uh, i have shown you how the sensor is mounted so let's go ahead and power this thing and see how it actually works okay now we are lifting it on the top so that i can show you how it works so that your wheels can rotate freely and i have powered it on and i will use this joystick to control the wheels and show you how the speed and the distance is calculated as you can see if i rotate the left wheel the sensor is interrupted and the interrupt count is shown there which is 12 for now and similarly if i rotate the right wheel you can see that the right interrupt is also getting incremented because the grid attached to the other side of the wheel is interrupted by the sensor and it produces a signal which is read by the Arduino and we can see it measured here. And even if I use the joystick to rotate it, as the wheel rotates, you can see the interrupts rising up and the speed of the wheel as well as the distance covered. Here the speed is in meter per second and the distance is in meters. If I reduce the speed, you can see the speed going down. Right now it's 0.3 at maximum throttle and slowly if I reduce it, Okay, this is the maximum throttle 0.5 and as you can see the joystick is at the full thing and if I slowly reduce it you can see the speed going down as I slowly bring the joystick down and right now you won't be able to know what the angle is I will show you in the next video but for now you can see the speed and distance being calculated so far we have driven the bot for 9 meters and the speed has dropped back to zero so once again I am resetting it to show you the working so as you can see it's resetted and if I use the joystick to rotate the left wheel you can see the angle getting incremented in positive and if I rotate the wheel on the right you can see the angle being decremented that it's actually the angle is incremented in negative but you can see now it got decremented and it has entered into the negative region so let me get the board down and uh, I'll show you how it actually works so, so that you can get to know more on it so now you will be able to understand what the angle is so when the bot is stationary, when it is placed on ground and when it is facing on a single direction, the angle is zero. So initially the angle will be zero. And I'll use the joystick to rotate the bot. As I rotate it to the left and make it stand, as you can see it has rotated 90 degrees and you can see the angle is 94, which is obviously close to 90 degree. And uh, to bring it back to zero, I have to rotate the other wheel. So let me rotate it in the other direction. And as you can see, as I rotate, the angle is being decremented. And when it comes back to the straight line, okay, now it's almost straight, four degrees left. Okay, now I have exceeded it. When it comes to straight line, it will be zero again. So let me adjust it this side. And as you can see, if I come to this, it is inclined towards 11. Okay, now it is zero. When it gets straight again, it's zero. So this way you will be able to know which angle the bot is currently facing at. And you can do whatever you wish to do. You will know the orientation of the bot, the direction which it's facing. If you know the uh, true magnetic north at the time of zero, then you can uh, calculate the south, west and all those. So again, now this angle is zero and I'm going to change it to one side. So it is 11 degree towards this side now. And if I adjust it towards this side again, when it comes back to the straight line, it's zero. When it exceeds it, it's minus seven. So that's it guys. This is how the project works. You can measure the angle, speed and distance and I have demonstrated all the three things. As usual, you can find the code and more explanation on this on the link given at the description of this video. Thanks for watching.